welcome to LBT Fit. Thank you for joining me this evening or this morning, whenever you're doing this session. Um, so for this session, I'm not going to be playing music. So if you would like to get your tunes at the ready, get them on now. Some tunes to really get you in the mood. Um, you will find a mat useful for this session because there are some exercises where we're on the floor. Um, we're going to start off with a five minute warm up, uh, just to get ourselves in the spirit, get our bodies ready for what we're going to do. I'm just sorting out my timer. Very unorganized of me, isn't it? Um, anyway, right. So we're going to start off with jogging on the spot. Okay. Remember to always take at your own pace, take water breaks whenever you need to. Okay. Right. Here we go. Let's jog, 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 jog. Off you go. Dun, dun, dun. Keep going, keep going. Life's not going so great over here. Here we go, keep going. Keep, keep, I got it, I got it, I got it. Right, jog, 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 jog. Okay, right, oh, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so jog. Pull the belly button in, roll the shoulders down and back as you go. You can keep it in the spot and you can maybe go slip this way, slip this way, do what you like. You're in your own homes, do what you like. Okay, roll the shoulders though, roll, 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 roll. Make it a bit bigger maybe, and maybe turn the other way. Good job. Pull the belly button in, keep the chest lifted. Maybe let's give ourselves a cuddle and open, cuddle and open. Cuddle and open, cuddle and open. Good, keep that going, keep that going. Well done. Good, good, good. Okay, let's have a little punch. Little punch. Get us in the spirit. <laughs> good job, Anna. Good work. Okay, tap out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Swing and cross. Okay, so this is option one. If we're looking to keep any impact out, we can stay there, or we can take it to a jumping jack, maybe full range. Go all the way up and slap your thighs at the bottom. Well, oh, slap that there. Good job. Continuing to pull that belly button in. Good. Nice work. Keep it going. Good. Okay, back to jogging. Back to jogging. Okay, looking to make it a little bit more dynamic. Getting these knees up. So we'll look at the high knees. If we need to, we can take it to a knee dry. If you need to, oh, get them knees up. Yes. Good. Keep it going, keep it going. I can see you. I can see you. Keep the chest lifted. Belly button pulled in. Excellent. Okay, take it back. Kicking your bottom. Good. So this is option one. Option two. Running, kick your bottom. Good work. Well done. Okay, step, reach, change legs. Reach, change legs. So remember, keep the belly button pulled in. Opposite hand reaches towards the toe, maybe the knee. If that leg isn't straight, it doesn't matter. We're just looking to lengthen down the back of that leg. Good. Okay, let's open up the hip. Take it round. Take it round. Take it around. Good job. And then maybe bring it the other way. Bring it in. And bring it in. Good. Nice. Okay, nice job, nice job. Okay, we're gonna have a little look at some squats. Slightly wider than the hip width. Chest lifted, belly button pulled in. Sit your bottom down and back. And then bring the hips forward and through. Have the big squeeze at the top. Down, keep the chest lifted. And through, make sure we're sitting back. I'm gonna quick look at my zoomers. Make sure the knees are protected behind your toes. Chest up. No looking down. Good. Nice work. Okay. Press it down at the back. Down at the back. Keep the arms moving. Good. Well done. Okay, let's take it down to the ground. And let's get into a plank position. I don't mind if you're on your elbows or your hands. If it's your hands, it's the heel of your hands below your shoulder. If it's your elbows, it's your elbow below your shoulder. Your gaze is ahead of your hands. 
Your ears, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankle are all in a nice straight line, squeezing through the glutes, squeezing through the core, lifting the chest through, gaze ahead of your hands. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And come into leap. Yes. Oh, you beautiful plankers. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Up you come. Up you come. Okay, just roll those shoulders. March it out. Take that arm across. Take that one across. Okay. Okay, okay. So, grabbing a little drink if you need one. Do you feel warm? A bit warmer? Good to go? Okay, so we're going to go in about 10 seconds. 15 seconds maybe. Quick drink. Okay, pick a leg, any leg. Luckily, you get to do both. Exercise one. Three exercises, 30 seconds each. Okay? First one, three kicks, three knees, one kick with a punch. One, two, three, and kick. Stay low. Off you go. And kick. And one, two, three, and kick. And one, two, three, and kick. Keep going. Let me look. So we're staying on the same leg. We're staying low on that supporting leg. Our chest is lifted. Our belly button is pulled in. Get these fists working too. Good. Lift that chest. Lift. Yes, good. Keep going. Okay, change sides. So, remember, it's the opposite arm to knee. Coming forward in a punch. Let's go. One, two, three, and kick. And one, two, three, and kick. Turn me tight. Focus on the breath. Breathe out every time that knee comes up. Breathe out every time you kick. Small panty breaths. Pull the belly button in to hold your stability. So good. Keep it going. Well done. And rest. Okay, five seconds. Iron legs. So we're doing a squat to a lunge, a squat to the other lunge. Let's go. Squat, lunge, squat, lunge, squat, lunge, squat, lunge. This is your stepping option. There is, of course, the jumping option, if you would like that. We call these iron legs because they don't make your legs feel heavy. Keep going. So remember, lift that chest. Look up. If you look down, you might fall. Keep going. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, back to the top. First leg. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, and kick. And one, two, three, and kick. Go. Fierce face. Yes. Good. Pull that belly button in. Breathe out. Lovely job. 10 seconds left. Keep going. Doing amazing. Don't slow. Keep up the pace. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Other side. You ready? Opposite arm. Go. One, two, three, and kick. And one, two, three, and kick. Go. Let me see. Let me see. Keep that chest up. Belly button pulled in. Really squeeze into that core and it's going to help you with your stability. Keep going. Doing amazing. Keep going. 10 seconds left. Stay low on that supporting leg. Keep it bent. Keep it bent. Squeeze into that glute. And stop. Okay. Iron legs. You ready? Squat lunge, squat lunge. Here we go. Down. Back, down, back. So this is one option. If we want to take out the jump, this is fine. If you have a weight to hand, you could even use a weight if you wanted to weight it. But you know what? Jumping it does not give you a good go on those legs. Keep it going. Keep the chest lifted. Look up. You look down, you may fall. Keep the chest up, belly button pulled in. If we're stepping it, try not to cross that lunge. So we don't want to be here. And rest. Okay. Last set. Are you ready? Go. One, two, three, and kick. And one, two, three, and kick. And one, two, three, and kick. And one. Keep going. I can see you. Come on. Come on, we've got to do this. We're so close. But do remember that you can take it at your own pace. If you need to slow this down, you slow it down. That's fine. 
to have a little push. Little push of your own limits. Good. Okay, other side. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, and kick, and one. Two, three, and kick, and one. Keep that chest up. Good. So good. Keep it going, keep it going. We're nearly there. We nearly don't have to do this one again. 10 seconds left and you're done. Keep going, keep going. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Rest momentarily. Iron legs, squat lunge, squat lunge. You ready? Here we go. Down and back and down and back. Remember, we don't want this leg to cross over. It's not curtsy lunge, they're coming. So it's down and square and down and square. Lift your chest, look up, don't look down. Hold the belly in. Focus on your positioning. Squeeze them glutes. Good. Yes, nice. Lift, lift. So good. Three, two, one. Rest. 20 second rest. Grab a drink. Ooh, can we feel that? Ooh, that'll be the legs part of the LBT. Yes. Okay, one minute move. 60 seconds of walkaways. So we hinge into the hip, down, plank, and push back. Off we go. Walk away. Trying to keep the legs as straight as we can. Lengthening down the back of these legs into the glutes as we come up. Good. Focus on hitting that flat plank position. So we've got everything in line. Ears, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankle all perfectly aligned. By all means, if you want to add a push up at the bottom, feel free. I'm not too concerned about your arms in this class because halfway, keep going. I know there was a ding. It's just there to tease you. Halfway, keep going. Yes, lovely. So yeah, I'm not too concerned about our arms in this class because this is purely focusing on legs, bones, and toes. But by all means, if you want to stick a little push up on there, feel free. Good, 10 seconds left. You're nearly there. Lengthening down the back of these legs. Hands to the floor, walk away. Squeeze into the plank, lift your chest through. Press the heels down, curl and rest. Well done. Another 20 seconds. Okay, exercise number one, coming up. It's a gate swing, it's called. So you're crossing one leg over into a jump and then you're going down to the squat. And you're coming up and down. Cross and down, alternating the leg that you take, okay? So we can do cross here if you need to take out. So it's a bit of a squat and a heel. Go, down, cross, down, cross, down, cross, down, cross, down. Really sinking back into them squats. Keep the chest lifted. Excellent job. Squeezing through the inner thighs as that comes across. Squeeze down. Squeeze down. Excellent. Keep going. Well done. And rest. Okay, here comes that curtsy lunge. So, one leg. Squeeze, raise. Squeeze, raise. So we're challenging our stability on this one too. Okay? Can you see how this foot isn't moving? And I'm getting deep in. You can even keep it bent if you want to add a little bit more of a dimension. So we're looking for this foot to be flexed, toe aiming to go forward. So we're really working down the outside of this thigh. Squeeze in up and up. Squeeze in up and up. Squeeze in up and up. So we don't want to be compensating. We want to try and keep upright. Other side. You ready? Squeeze out. Squeeze out. Squeeze. Pull the belly button in to hold your stability. Squeeze. If it helps, you can hold on to something. I'm being a bit kind there, aren't I? Keep that chest lifted. Try and get it going completely sideways. So if I was going here, it would literally be going out that way. Not on the diagonal. Out that way. So it might not go very high, but that's okay. Okay, rest. Okay, get swings. You ready? Lift chest. Go. And down. And down. And down. And down. So inner thighs, glutes, and legs, and core. You know, basically everything. Trying to cross the legs and squat. 
Cross the legs and squat. Good. Keep lifting. Keep lifting. Keep it going. Keep it going. Good job. Good job. Remember, there's an option to cross and down if you need it. Okay, ready? Leg back. And squeeze, extend. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze, squeeze in into that hip here. And lift that leg. Try to keep it straight rather than a bend and a kick because that's going to shift your hips out. Keep them as upright as you can. Squeeze, extend. Squeeze, extend. Squeeze, extend. Squeeze. Maybe even put your hands here to see if you can stop this feeling. Good. And rest. Other leg. Other leg, other leg. Hold it in place. Squeeze and out. Squeeze and out. So this could also be done with a little kettlebell or a dumbbell. If you wanted to add another little bit of a dimension to this exercise. Remember, no leaning. So we don't want to be over here. We want to keep up. Squeezing into that hip. Good. Keep going. Well done. And three, two, one. Good job. Okay, last time. Gaze, squat, gaze, squat. Go. And down, and down, and down. Squeeze the inner thighs down. Squeeze down. Good. Think squat position, bottom down and back, chest lifted, belly button pulled in. Good job. Well done. Excellent job. Keep going. Five seconds left. Well done, well done. And drop. Okay, so pick a leg again. So squeezing, hold it in place. Knee behind toe. Extend. Squeeze down. Extend. Squeeze down. Squeeze. Really make it a slow lift. Breathe out. Down. 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 Good. Keep going. Lovely job. Keep going. Keep it going, keep it going. Three, two, one. Other side. Remember, keep this in place. And down. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. Down. Down. Slow. Down. Slow. Keep pulling that belly button in, keep that chest lifted. Good. Super job, keep going. 10 seconds left. Nearly there. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, don't stop. Three, two, one. Rest, awesome job. Okay, your one minute move. Grab a quick drink if you need it. We've got 15 seconds left. Your one minute move is frog jumps forward and frog jumps back, okay? So it's a squat, so we can either step, 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 maybe three forward, three back, okay? So let's go. I'm gonna jump, down, jump, down, jump, down. Now jump back. Keep the weight forward as you jump back so you don't fall. Yeah, good. So your jump back might not be as big as your jump forward. So you need to keep your weight forward as you're jumping back. Maybe if I go this way, maybe that'll help. Here, and here, and here. And as you go back, here, and here, and here, and here. Halfway, keep going. Don't step. Sink down into that squat. Pull that belly button in. Always the option to step it if you do not want to jump it. Keep going, keep going. Lift the chest. Keep looking up. Don't look down. Keep going, keep going. Don't step. Keep going even if you need to step it. Try and keep moving. Five seconds. Keep going, keep going. Keep it going. Stop. Well done. Shake it out, shake it out. Woo! -hoo. Nice. I see you enjoyed that. Okay, so we're going to our mats. Uh, exercise one is crab toe touch. So fingers pointed forwards, heel of hands below shoulder, hips come up. Okay, and we're going to be reaching for the opposite toe or knee. And breathing out as we do. Let's go. And you're squeezing 
the supporting leg glute, trying to get them hips up. So a straight line from your knee to shoulder. Fingers forward, so that we're not compromising the position of our shoulders. Fingers forward here. You can go for your knee or you can go for your toe, whichever. Keep going. Hips up in the middle, maybe. Think about an extra squeeze. Good. Next one. Go like a star. Like this, and you reach into the opposite toe or knee again. Or toe. Always the option to go for the knee, though. See how I'm leaving my elbow on the floor? That's going to help you get up and squeeze into your core a bit more to here. Yeah? Good job. Keep it going, keep it going. Pressing that belly button down into your mat. Three, two, one, stop. Next one, flutter kicks. So this is where we are just keeping our legs straight and swimming, flutter. Now I've got my chest lifted up, chin away from chest, belly button pressed down, palms up. The closer your feet are to the floor, the more intense on your core. So you can always lift your legs up a bit. You can even relax your head down. You can even sit on your hands if that helps. Because this one can sometimes hurt your lower back. Depends on your core strength. So you really need to get the position on point. And rest. Okay. Crab toe touch. You ready? And up. And squeeze. Up. Squeeze. Up. Squeeze. Breathe out. And again, could be your knee, could be your toe. Fingers forward. Have a little extra squeeze in the middle. Get them hips up. Squeeze through the glutes. Beautiful. Good. Opposite arm to leg. Good. Nice work. Rest. Start. So we're lying down, we're like this. We're going opposite arm to knee. And coming up as we go. Pressing that belly button down. You can go for the toe or you can go for the knee. The movement in your core is the same. But you're coming up onto your elbow to get your body further up off the floor to make the core work a bit more. Good. 10 seconds left. Keep going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Here. And rest. Good. Flutters. Again, press that belly button down, flatten that breath. Let's go. Press that belly button down, chin away from the chest. Palms up, options, sit on your hands maybe. Relax your head down maybe, whatever works for you. Maybe legs come up a little bit higher. Maybe they're a bit bigger. Maybe they're smaller. Maybe hands are away. Feel like I'm listening. Little breaths. Good, three. Two, one, well done. Back to the top. Last time, we're nearly there. Fingers forward. Ready? Hips up. Let's go. Don't fall. I was getting up to see you. Good. Squeeze. Good. Remember, you can go for the knee or the toe. Squeeze that glutes. Keep it going. Doing great. Seven seconds left. Nearly there, nearly there. Excellent. And rest. Star sit-ups. Opposite knee. Let's go. Knee or toe. I don't mind. Use the elbow to help you get up. So you're coming up onto the elbow as you go. So you're coming up that bit higher. Excellent. Super job. Well done. Keep going. You've got 10 seconds left on this one. And then we've just got the flutter kicks before our one minute move. Ooh. Well done. Keep going. And stop. Flutter kicks. Okay. Press the belly button down, head the shoulders up, palms up. Let's go. Chin away from chest. Keep going, keep going. Squeeze that core. Squeeze, I think you should be feeling it just about now. Yes, I can see, keep going, don't stop. If you need to raise your legs, if you need to sit on your hands, all options are fine. Do what works for you, 
See if you can just keep going. That's five more seconds left. Three, two, one. Rest. 20 seconds. Okay. Are you ready for your one minute move? Your final one minute move? Yes? Okay, we're doing squat to plank. Plank to squat, whichever way around you want to look at it. So we're here, and we're coming up. And then we're going back. Now, you can always step, step and lift. Off we go. And up, and back, and up. Excellent, keep going. Remember to lift that chest, keep the hips low. Good, keep it going. Excellent, don't stop, don't stop, you've got 40 seconds, 20 seconds in, coming up to halfway. Get that weight back when you get into your squat, really make sure that when you jump up from the plank, so from here, halfway, keep going. If we go to here and then just lift our chest, see where my knees are? We don't want that, we wanna get right back here. So you've really gotta get your position in on point. Get back and lift the chest, sink the hips down the back. Okay, lift that chest at the height. Lift your chest in the plank as well. Get that chest through so you're in that nice flat plank position. Pull the belly button in. Excellent. Keep going. Three, two, one. Rest. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. How are we feeling? Hey, you did good. Are you a bit sweaty? A little bit. Tiny bit, excellent news. Good, okay, let's stretch, are you ready? So take a deep breath in and out. Super job team, in and out. Okay, take a deep breath in and as we breathe out, let's lean over. Take a deep breath into the open side of the ribcage, in and out. Other side. Good. Deep breath in and out. Good job. Open. Okay, keep your one foot, take it back. So we're keeping our feet in line with our hips. We don't want to cross over too much. We'll lose our balance. So keep them in line. Press the heel down at the back. Straight leg, tuck the hips. Reach forward with the opposite arm to front leg. Good. Keep pressing that heel down at the back so we can feel the lengthening through the back of the knee. Good, bring the back heel in, take a bend down, tuck the hips under, shoulder down, arm comes across. Sink into that back leg. Excellent. Well done. And open, hands to hips, hips come up, lift the chest, lean in. Lengthening down the back of this leg. Good, so we can always peel the toes for a bit of an extra, or we can reach down for a bit of an extra lengthening. It all depends on your flexibility. Everyone's different. Roll up, and the other side. Again, hip width apart with these feet, straight back. Press the heel down at the back. Opposite arm to front leg, reaches forward. Good. Brilliant, bring the back foot in. And bend down, tuck the hips under, shoulder down, arm comes across. Sink into that back leg. Excellent. Good, and open, hands to hips, hips come up, lift the chest, lean in. Brilliant. Lengthening down the back, we can feel the toes, we can reach down to increase the stretch. No weight on the straight leg, weight on the bent leg or hands to hips. Good, roll up. Okay, hold on to something if you need to. We're gonna take one leg up. Give it a big cuddle for all its hard work. Well done, leg. Aren't you marvelous? Shoelaces back, knees go together. Push this hip forward and press your shoelaces into your hand. Try to keep these knees together and then that's gonna help increase this stretch down front. So it doesn't matter what you do with your arm, whatever works for you, eh, eh, wherever. Good, try the other side. Hug that leg in. Big cuddling. Excellent. Shoelaces back, knees together, push your hip forward, press the shoelaces into your hand and hold. Good. Well done, foot down. Take a bend, tuck the hips under, pull the belly button in, push the palms of your hands away. Take a twist over one side, look under your arm and a deep breath in and out. 
and the other side. And again, a deep breath in and out. Good job. Open up, palms to the back, behind your back, squeeze the elbows together to just open up that chest. Excellent. Relax, one ear to one shoulder, reach down. Lengthen in from the ear all the way through to the fingertips, palm forward, reach and wiggle your fingers towards the floor. And the other side, over, reach, wiggle, wiggle. Good. Excellent, deep breath in. And out. And in. And out. And in, feet together. Roll down. Your back. Yay, well done. Thank you so much for joining me. I shall stop the recording.